these cobbles. Just thought what I'm going to use was these Cree lead clusters. I got probably 30 or 40 of these and uh, sort of cobbled something together. So what I've done, it's pretty well set up. Capacitor rectifier, two 8 microfarad capacitors, main rated in series with a uh, Variac for now. And uh, check how it goes. And I'm quite surprised. I've been running it for quite a while. Um, when they just eliminate, um, at the moment the voltage is 26. The voltage comes on at about, the clusters are designed for, well, 25.8, but that's very low. And I can ramp it up, there's hardly any current. Go up to full mains power, or 270 volts, 270. I mean, just below 300 milliamps. So, the capacity of the cluster gives a fantastic uh, current limiting option. So I'm just trialing this out, and the LEDs run at 28.3. Well, in the normal conditions, they would probably run at 30 volts. So, current limit, I'll still sit below my 330 milliampere. And I'm going to implement a few of these in outside lights. I need to design a casing for it, but yeah, I'll make better close up of this. Two 250 volts AC rated mains capacitors in series, bridge rectifier, and a capacitor for smoothing. And just use some of these LED clusters. Make you very surprised how well it works. A lot better than I was expecting. 28 volts, so take the angle here and I drop it down. So this LED is a 10 string series. They uh, work between about 26 and 28 or 30 volts in the, in the area. Very effective. Then I'll do the dark test. Stand by. De energized lights. This is perfect for an outside light. I don't need that much brightness on it anyway. Just on the side of the house, I've got an awkward area where I've got a, at the moment an incandescent bulb. And um, yeah, awkward to change. I've got it on reduced voltage, but these bulbs still fail. So I'm going to use this as a trial device, energized light bulbs. Oh, this is good. I've got street lights in my workshop as well, which is really nice. It's good lighting. I've got another one here. So yeah, LED stuff is quite good. Can't, can't complain about it. So I'll have this on the trial and test, and then uh, yeah, I'm going to implement it in the casing. I've got quite a few of these contactor boxes. I'm going to put it in there somehow, or underneath, and then uh, yeah, we'll analyze the situation for later. Short video. Um, just uh, yeah, cheers. Stay tuned for a follow-up on this. Please helicopter is out again. Okay, um, that light, the LED cluster I made, I've blown two sets of LEDs in them, so it works with eight. Um, I had ramped it up on the Variac, but I fucked up. It's got two of these eight microfarads in series. Um, I ended up putting a third one in series to limit the current to below 200 milliampere and a 56 ohm 10 watt resistor that is the current uh, limiting at starting. So uh, this has been going last night and it worked fine. So it runs on eight LEDs. Um, when the photo cell kicks it in, I'll uh, video it. But um, yeah, so I made a butt on a bung on here. Just uh, here's the B22. <laughs> it's in the camera, yeah. B22, potted it in, got a two core wire in here, starts it. So I can have this as an easy module to swap uh, to swap out. And uh, yeah, this is a bit hotchy potchy here on the side, but uh, I'm gonna put it in a bigger box. But this is prototype, and I'm gonna make a couple of these. So yeah, I'm waiting for the photo cell to kick in, which is uh, this is here. That's one of these little night eyes, and. Uh, Another hour and it will be energized. Well, here it's going with eight lights. Been going quite well, nice and bright. The plant is pretty well illuminated, it's not bad at all. And uh, compared here is an uh, L27 uh, street light there. So, yeah, I think I'm quite happy with it. Plenty of light out of a little cell like this. And it, uh, Got the modification, and I'll let this go for a week, and then I'm going to build a few more of these devices. So, let's quickly check the resistor. Oh, yeah. This is another day, uh, the day after, and we get a bit more daylight, so because I must have forgotten about it last night. Uh, 
but this is the LEDs. Eight segment and it still works, so I'm not too worried about it. Here we got the simple schematic for the setup here. So I got uh, initially had two capacitors, but I put three eight micros in the series, which means the total value will be less. 56 ohm uh, current limiting resistor. This is the diode stack, 10 diodes, 240 volts, which yields yeah, the formula uh, resultant capacitor value 2.66 microfarad. From the formula, reactance is uh, 1 over 2 pi Fc. 1 over that yields in uh, 1197 ohms. Ui times R, 240 if you divide it by that, gives me about 200 milliampere or 0 0.2 ampere, and that was exactly what I got on the meter. So I'm below the 300 milliampere for the LEDs, so it uh, avoids them uh, being overloaded and this uh, series resistor is essential because that's why I blew these two LEDs um, probably the inrush current was too high for these uh, capacitors 